I grew up in rural Iowa, Dayton, until I was nine, then Fort Dodge. Then I went to St. Ed's, uh, graduated high school there, and then started college in engineering, transferred to Grandview, where I started to take art classes for the first time. Uh, decided to go all in with two degrees, visual arts and graphic design. Graduated December 2004, and I've been working professionally ever since. There was a call for entries that was asking for artists to put together proposals, capturing the aesthetic value of Iowa in essence. Uh, so I went through and I studied what I appreciated about Iowa, where I live, where I've lived, uh, and what I had potential to capture personally. So I grew up in 4-H in Webster County. I was a Dayton Tiger and a Fort Dodge Falcon. And after that, I moved to Des Moines to study at Grandview. And so as a result, there's a lot of imagery between the two. So you have the Kate Shelley Bridge in Boone, which is near Dayton. You have the High Trestle Trail, which is a popular landmark near Des Moines. And there's other Des Moines, like the Capitol and the Skyline. But overall, I wanted to be true to my roots. So in the lower right corner, I featured a family photo of my grandfather, two uncles and an aunt at the state, uh, that was the county fair, I guess, showing cattle. 4-H um, has been a very integral part of our family's history. So to me, it was an opportunity to pay homage to the generations ahead of me. I've been coming to the State Fair almost every year since I was a child, and I exhibited in the State Fair when I was in high school, and my mother's a State Fair 4-H'er as well, so I'm a second generation State Fair 4-H'er. Um, I have a strong appreciation of 4-H, and so the State Fair is the culmination of that, to see uh, the youth being active and working on projects and participating in the State Fair to me is pretty critical. Do you have any questions? Uh, I have no problem with people watching me. The only concern I have is I work fairly quickly, so it's good for me to interact with people more than to just work nonstop because if I don't pause, there's a good chance that I would wrap it up a lot sooner than intended. I will stretch it out over the full length of the fair, so whenever you get here, if, if people visit, they'll be able to interact with it. But for me, it's, it's, it's that constant interaction with people and just inspiration to respond. So I don't suspect too many hecklers will be out there, but if somebody comes out and they're like, I don't like this, then I can ask them why. I can decide whether or not I want to take their input and implement some sort of a change. But for me, it's, it's all about the crowd. It's about you know, supporting kids and sharing this with them. To me, it's an honor. I always viewed myself as a 4 h -er ever since I was a little kid, so it was always an honor to receive a blue ribbon or to be invited to the State Fair. So to come back, and almost as though I'm an exhibitor this year as a, a, with my painting, it's an honor to be on site, to interact with uh, kids and youth. So hopefully I can influence people.